Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is print the pattern. Right. So first of all, we will be going through the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we will be coding it up. Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I believe the channel will be helpful for you. We are continuously putting job updates and placement related information on our channel. Also, make sure to turn on the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever we are uploading any video. You join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is there in the description. So, with that note, let's get started with the problem statement. The so problem says that write a program that receives a number n as input and prints it in the following format as shown below. Like for n equal to 2, the pattern will be 1, 2, 1 star, 2 star, 5 star, 6. Hyphen hyphen three star two right so that's what we have for uh, example one they have taken n equal to three this is the pattern that we are getting so if the pattern shown in question is followed this will be the output so whatever task is that we have to complete the given function pattern which takes n as input parameter and returns a list of a string where each string denotes a new line of the pattern expected time complexity and auxiliary space uh, they have specified so, okay, let's understand how we can solve this particular problem. So, for n equal to 3, right, this is the pattern we are getting. Uh, if you can see this pattern carefully, uh, so can't we partition it like this? 1, 2, 3. Uh, in this way, right, you can see there are two pattern we can say or two partitions we are having so for first one if uh, first if we are thinking about to print that part only one star two star three star then hyphen hyphen four star five star then one two three four hyphen and six star so if let's let's focus on this on this pattern so here you can see what is happening if you are having a particular value let's call it as i equal to 1 so this value is increasing 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we have to uh, append we have to append this star as well and for hyphen part if you will see for hyphen uh, so first we are not having any hyphen right in the first first row you will see then we have 2 then we have 4 so they are increasing by a factor of 2 into i well, when you will initialize i with 0, right? So, for first row, for 0 row, there won't be any hyphen. Then i equal to 1, so 2 hyphen. Then i equal to 2, so 4 hyphen. So, this is how it is happening. And for this number, which has been initialized with 1 and you can see, so first we got all the 3 numbers, right? Then we got just 2 number, 4, 5. And then it further reduced. So, we can say it is reducing... Uh, by 1 right so first we got all the three numbers n equal to value 3 we got all the three number then 4 5 only then 6 so first we were having 3 then 2 number and then just one number right so this is the first thing so for now let's not discuss about this part right if i'm just asking you to write the code to print this pattern so here uh, we will be understanding the code for the part uh, that we saw right so the first partition okay so here you can see int start equal to 1 we have taken so this will be responsible for incrementing that number 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that and uh, this is the array list that we have to return okay so let's understand about this so we are having the loop for int i equal to 0 till i less than n so here n value is 3 i plus plus so here we have taken the history so this loop is regarding the hyphen part that we have to print. So for int i into j equal to 0, j less than 2 into i. So i value is what now? For now, that is 0, right? And for the 0 row, you must have seen that we are not having any hyphen. So nothing uh, would be there, would be done for this particular loop for i equal to 0 part, right? So now we will be proceeding inside this loop. So in j equal to 0, j less than n minus i. So you must have seen that for first row, we were having all three numbers, 1, 2, 3, right? So here if you could see, so to this string we are adding a string dot value of star plus plus. So first start value is what 1 that would be taken. Then star. Then this loop will run up till n value is what 3 minus 0. 
So three times this loop is going to be executed. So one is star, then the start value will be two. So two is star, then the start value will be three. So three is star. So one is star, two is star, three is star. That we'll get. Okay. Now we'll come out of this loop and we are adding this to uh, to the list, right? Next time i value will be one. So this condition is going to be true and so j equal to zero, j less than two into one. So twice this loop is going to be executed and two hyphen we are going to get and you must have seen in the first one we were having two hyphen and here this loop is going to execute how many times? Twice. N value is equal to three minus one, two. So twice this is going to be executed and uh, from this loop what we'll be having? Four is star, five is star, right? And this this is what we are going to add to our string. Right? And then what we are going to do is see this will also be added. See here first we are adding this hyphen also, right? Then we are adding this particular values. Okay. Then i value is going to be two, two less than three, condition is true, and that's how well, so this is going to execute how many times? Two into two, four times, right? And we'll be having four hyphen uh, added, right? And then this loop is going to execute how many times? So n value is three and uh, i value is two. So only once this loop is going to be executed, right? So that's what it is. Now if I am, okay, let's compile this code. Compile it one. So you can see, you can see, uh, so for now we are just discussing about the first partition. We are not discussing about 10, 11, 12, 8, 9, 7, right? So you can see this is what we have got. 1 is star, 2 star, 3 is star, then hyphen, hyphen, 4 star, 5 is star, then 4 hyphen, 3 is star, right? So I hope that you are clear for the first part, right? How we will get that particular pattern. Now uh, we will be discussing about this pattern, right? The next, this also we need, right? So here for this one, if you will see, first we are having 7. From the bottom part, it is increasing. First it was 7, then 8 is star 9. Then 10 star, 11 star, 12. Right? So let's so let's understand. Let's think about it. That how we can achieve this particular part. So start value we can take. Right? So 7, 8 star, 9 star, 10 star, 11 star. Okay? And we need this star as well. We don't have to think about hyphen now because that is already done by the first part. So for this, um, I think my code itself will be able to understand. So let's see uh, for this pattern what we have done. So from the bottom we have to execute this time. So that's why we are having it i equal to n minus 1, i greater than equal to 0. Now we are taking the, so here what we are doing, we are extracting the last row that we are having. What was the last row? Because there we want to add this 7, right? So we are extracting the last row, answer dot get i. And this loop would be responsible for adding the values and for adding that star as well. So into j equal to 0, j less than n minus i j plus plus so what is the value of i i value is 2 what is the value of n n value is 3 so only once this loop is going to be executed and we are appending x plus equal to string dot value of start plus plus so start value that would be 7 right 7 star but if you have seen the pattern right so with along with the 7 we don't want a star i mean at the end with end values we don't want a star so that's why what we are doing here is and for that particular position, right, the ith position in our array list itself, answer is what our array list. So, what we are setting, we are setting the position x dot substring from 0 to x dot length minus 1. I mean, we are not taking the, we are not from the whole chain, we are not taking that particular star because we don't want that star. Let me show you if you are getting confused. So with 7 we don't want a star. Then you must be wondering then why we have appended this star because we need a star with this um, 10 star, 11 star, 12, with 8 star, 9 we need, right? But with the end values we don't need so that's why uh, we have kept here. We have kept here uh, x dot substring 0, comma x dot length minus 1 so that the star is not cut. Now next time i value would be decremented. Okay, so what would be the value of i? Now i value would be decremented and it is going to be 1 this time, right? So we are extracting the element that it has the position 1. So for that one, now how many times this loop is going to be executed? n value is 3 and i value is 1. So twice this loop is going to be executed. And 8 star, 9 star would be added. 
out of which like uh, we'll be removing that the add is done right okay so i hope that is clear so next i value would be zero this time zero greater than equal to zero so that is true so we are extracting the element that is at the zero through now here this loop is going to be executed how many times so n value is three and i value is i value is zero so three minus zero so times this loop is going to be executed 10 11 12 these values will be printed along with the star then again we are setting at this particular position then again we are setting the value in the array list at the ith position right and at the end what we are doing is we are simply returning the answer i hope that you must be able to understand the problem statement and the logic part so that's what all from my side so i have provided the code in the description for the reference so you can just check it from there thank you everyone for watching